I disagree with my father and he knows it, Ivka Trump hits back at critics, insisting she does challenge her dad and urges people not to confuse lack of public denouncement with silence. Ivka Trump spoke out against her critics and revealed what exactly her new White House role would entail during an interview with Gail King on CBS this morning Wednesday. The first daughter also stated that while she not be publicly attacking her father's stances in the press or on social media, they too so have disagreements and her is very much aware how his famous daughter feels on a number of subjects. I'll weigh in with my father on the issues I feel strongly about, said Inka, who when pressed refused to actually cite a specific example of one of these issues. So where I disagree with my father, he knows it. And I express myself with total candor. When King was asked later in the newsroom by co-host Nora O'Donnell and Charlie Rose what these issues were, King said that she believes Ivka and her father have different viewpoints when it comes to gay rights, immigration and Planned Parenthood. And while Ivka may never publicly denounce her father, she did tell King, I would say not to conflate lack of public denouncement with silence. When later asked if a political run was in her future, Ivka quickly said it was not, adding, politics is a tough business. Politics is a tough business. Ivka also made it clear that she and her father agree on a number of issues as well, saying, Where I agree, I fully lean in and support the agenda and hope that I can be an asset to him and make a positive impact. But I respect the fact that he always listens. It's how he was in business. It's how he is as president. King pushed back on why Ivka was deciding to keep so quiet especially given the very fractured state of the country after an incredibly polarizing election, naming gay rights and Planned Parenthood as two examples of issues that need public support but on which she had stayed quiet. I also think there's a time for discussion, so you ask me about people who criticize me for not taking to social media on every single issue and I think I would ask them if that would render me more effective or less effective with he people ultimately making decision, said Inka. She also responded to those who say she has been complicit in aiding the agenda of her father's administration. If being complicit is wanting to, is wanting to be a force for good and to make a positive impact then I'm complicit, Ivka told King. I don't know that the critics who may say that of me, if they found themselves in this very unique and unprecedented situation that I am now in, would do any differently than I am doing. Ivka then added, so I hope to make a positive impact. I don't know what it means to be complicit, but you know, I hope time will prove that I have done a good job and much more importantly that my father's administration is the success that I know it will be. King asked her at one point who it is that is giving President Trump the hard truths in the White House, and she admitted that it was in fact her who would speak up to her father, but said she is not the only person in the administration voicing differing opinions. I do. And almost everyone he surrounds him with does, explained Ivka. We're in a very unique time where noise equals, in a lot of people's perception, advocacy. And I fundamentally disagree with that. I've later made a point of telling King that she was not the one chosen to lead this country back in November, saying that this fact guides how she uses her voice. I think that for me this isn't about promoting my viewpoints. I wasn't elected by the American people to be president, said Inka. My father is gonna do a tremendous job and I want to help him do that. But I don't think that it will make me a more effective advocate to constantly articulate every issue publicly where I disagree. She went on to state that if this upsets her critics there is nothing she can do to change that, and she is not going to try to change their minds. That means that I'll take hits from some critics who say that I should take to the street. And then other people will in the long term respect where I get to, said Inka. But I think most of the impact I have, over time most people will not actually know about. Early in the interview King also pointed out that when President Trump was elected, Ivka went on 60 Minutes to say that she would not take a role in the White House, which has of course changed in the past weeks. When asked to respond to going back on her claim, Ivka said, When I spoke to 60 Minutes it was, I think five or six days following the election. And I was processing real time the new reality and what it would mean. I realized that having one foot in and one foot out wouldn't work. And the reality is that all happened very organically for me. She said that all this happened however only after she could divest from her businesses and relocate her family and get them settled into their new life. When asked to specifically speak about what her role will be, Ivga said, 
I think for me, what it means is that I'll continue the advocacy work that I was doing in the private sector, advocating for the economic empowerment of women. I'm very focused on the role of education. Ivka pointed out however, I'm still my father's daughter. So to me the, this particular title was about giving critics the comfort that I'm holding myself to that highest ethical standard. But I'll weigh in with my father on the issues I feel strongly about. Ta turned to her husband at one point in the interview as well, and the criticism he has faced for being appointed to such a high-ranking position in the administration despite his lack of experience in world affairs and global politics. At the time, Jared was on his way back from a four-day trip to Iraq. So, you know, a lot of people would say the same about how could somebody successfully win the presidency who had never been engaged in politics? And my father did that, and Jared was instrumental in helping his campaign succeed, pointed out Ivka. So, you know, Jared is incredibly smart, very talented, has enormous capacity. He is humble in the recognition of what he doesn't know, and is tremendously secure in his ability to seek informed viewpoints. Ivka went on to say, he has an amazing team that my father has built at the White House and that he's built that's helping work on each of these initiatives. So, you know, the myth that he's operating in a silo is just that. Source www.dailymail.co.uk, UK. UK.